Popovich are not bad. Daly started Anderson and Blaylock against the Cavaliers. They played this one in Ottawa, Canada. Kenny Anderson feeding Morris for the stick. Seconds later, Morris a little give and go. Blaylock another stuff. He had eight in the first quarter. The Cavs get a running one-hander from Mark Price over Anderson and Sam Bowie. Nine points for Price in the game. Second half, Price the no look. Alley oop to Larry Nance and a good look at that stick and uh, Chuck Daly realizes his team has some work to do. The Cavs win at Nance with 17 points and 12 rebounds. Cleveland shot 61% from the floor. The Nets trio of guards combining for 35 points. Blaylock led with eight. Back, Pat Riley looking calm and cool. Chuck Daly looking a little distressed, but of course he's still well dressed. Rick Mahorn making his Nets debut, only two points though. Knicks in control early, Ewing down the lane. Knicks by five at the half. Ewing with 17 in the first half. More Knicks second half. Starks to Smith to Campbell for the basket and the foul. Then uh, Doc Rivers with a drive through the paint for the slam. Knicks by 10. Daly upset about the non-calls on Pat Ewing. He was ejected. It sparked the Nets, though. D.C. with 30. Kenny Anderson on the break. Nets trail by just two. It's getting exciting, Pat. Time running out. Derek Coleman lets it fly for the game winner. Not even close. Nets assistant coach Brendan Sir, a bit sick to his stomach. Knicks win 99-96. The Knicks win it despite 20 turnovers and just shooting 43%. New York may be 3-0, but coach Pat Riley and guard Doc Rivers both agree the team is struggling despite their perfect record. The Heat host... Wagner won two East Regionals at the Meadowlands when he played his college ball there. Now the pro game, taking the pass from Chuck Person going baseline and the Wolves led by as many as 19. New Jersey answers with Drazen Petrovic hitting the jumper. He had 27 points in Drazen. That's Petrovic. That's the way he prefers it. Late fourth quarter, Wolves leading by six. Coleman to Sam Bowie for the dunk. And then Petro feeds Bowie, who misses, but stays right with it to tip it in. Nets still down by two. Chuck Person and Minnesota with the ball. A clutch shot. Yes, it goes with the clock running down. He's excited as the T-Wolves win in New Jersey. Leitner scored 10. Chris Morris made just three of 15 shots. Derek Coleman only seven of 15. He did have 19 rebounds in the game. At the Palace, the Heat and the... And the Nets were waiting. Tom Gugliotta, a big night. Third quarter, gets the loose ball, starts the break, and gets the exclamation point. Chapman goes back to Gugliotta, 75-64 Nets. Gugliotta, the rebound. The outlet to Harvey Grant. Called the continuation on it, and Harvey would go to the line. Third quarter still, it's Gugliotta still. Stripping Coleman and Michael Adams. But he misses the layup. Fourth quarter, Nets leading it by eight. Rick Mahorn gets Chapman on the pick. Drazen blows by him. Petro had 32. Nets had a win, 111-104, despite Gugliotta's 19 points and 15 rebounds. New Jersey wins it 111-104. to The Bullets, 15 straight road defeats. After a season-opening win, the Nuggets had dropped. Dave Winfield saw the Knicks last Tuesday, watching the Nets this Tuesday. Nets down six in the third fall apart. Drazen, what was that, Drazen? From the other side, Draz, not going to go off the window. Derek Coleman had a good game, posts up. Oh, that wasn't a good shot. And Kenny had a terrific game, but not right here from 20 feet. Chuck Daly's team scored 12 points in the third quarter while the Jazz were on. Stockton to Malone. The mailman delivers 29 points, 16 boards. And the Nets lose to the Jazz, 108-97. The Jazz now 3-0 and on the road. Play three more road games in the next four nights. Great game from Anderson. Hawks in the Nets. And on the fast break, Dwayne Farrell. But watch Ramil get up and get out of my way. What a block. Now Mookie working on Kenny Anderson, who got the starting job from Mookie. Mookie says, I'll show you Kenny A, who played a few games at the Omni. It was tied at 54 in the half. And then Dominique, the Tomahawk Jam. He led Atlanta with 24, but the Nets come back. Sam Bowie and Drazen Petrovic, big second halves. Draz had 20. The Nets go on to win 108-101. Derek Coleman, 24 and 11 as the Nets win in Atlanta for the first time since March of 85. The Hawks are 0-3 at home this season. Another bit. The Dragon, Drazen Petrovic. Great, great job by Petro, too, here on the... Oh! oh! Gotta love it! Took it right out of his hand. Drazen on the drive. Oh! Beat the bully! That's a... Golden State had a big passing night from Billy Owens. 15 assists. The dish to Chris Mullen. And then Mullen to Hardaway. A little hang time. 
over Chris Dudley. And then watch Mullen. High off the glass, the friendly kiss. He had 34, 17 field goals, 17 of 28 from the floor. Hardaway, 27 points, 15 assists. The Nets' third straight home loss. Derek, Cole. Derek McKee to Sean Kemp. But a little spin for two of his 25 points. This game was close until the fourth when the Sonics go on a 15-6 run. Kenny Anderson only made four field goals with 13 shots off his miss. Dana Barrows comes away to Eddie Johnson for the layup. Johnson had 14 of his 16 in the last 12 minutes. And Seattle wins by six. Gary Payton, career high 20. Speaking of the Lakers, the Nets have not won in Los Angeles in 14 years. Nets in town, Chris Morris for two and a three-point New Jersey lead. Anthony Peeler answering for the Lakers and then selling Chuck. Nice suit. Fourth quarter, Drazen Petrovic loses it. Sedale three gets it and Tony Smith with a slam dunk, as Chick would say. Lakers have the lead, but then Drazen hits the jumper with 1.15 to go. Nets up by two. 30 seconds left, New Jersey by four. Chucky Brown loses it. Worthy to Perkins. Lakers down two. Two. Coleman missed two free throws. Three it's seconds worthy left. The worthy to three. The three. air ball. Smith follows for the tie. The Lakers can't get it done. It. L.A. could use a few LA good men. Nets win at 198. Lakers losing to New Jersey at home for only the second time in 20 games. Kenny Anderson had 20 for the Nets. Tony Smith led the Lakers with 17. They really missed Byron Scott. The clip. Chris Morris gets it to Kenny Anderson, who gets it to Derek Coleman, and that's why he's the point guard. Eight assists in the game. Kevin Willis ejected from the game in a hurry for arguing with the official. He only had four points. Second quarter, Chris Morris with a Chris Mullen kind of shot. The Nets with a big halftime lead, and then Drazen Petrovic chips in. He scored 20. Third quarter, Morris to Sam Bowie, who leads it for Anderson. Kenny also had 11 points in the fourth quarter. Ramil Robinson to Morris. The reverse dunk. Morris with 19 points in the fourth quarter. Derek Coleman, who had 21 points coming off the bench, hands it out this time to Morris. And Chuck Daly, he wins. But he didn't look very happy. The Nets are playing well. The Hawks had been playing well. New Jersey with their fourth straight win. Their record. Spurs man of iron, Antoine Caron lost. Strained knee ligaments finished him for at least a weekend. Spurs, meanwhile, built an 18-point third quarter lead and watched it evaporate. 25 seconds to play. Lead down to three. Nets full court pressure pays off. Kenny Anderson steals the long outlet. Zips the most important of his 17 assists to Drazen Petrovic, who drains the three, ties the game, sends Tark into a biting frenzy in the game into OT, where... Somebody leaves big guy Sam Bowie open, and then Chris Morris streaming down for the thunderous follow. Oh, anguish for Jerry Tarkanian. Petrovic scored 34, Anderson 31 to go with those 17 assists. Jersey, Charles always smiling at the Meadowlands. Look at him. Lose Chris Dudley and get the easy dunk. Do it inside in the paint, do it outside the strike. Charles pulls up. Dudley doesn't guard him. Charles hits a three at 14 and a half and even sends an Auburn Tiger. Greeting to his former Tiger friend Chris Morris, but Morris played very well, inspired by Barkley. Gets the rebound and gets the slam. The Suns lead seven at the break. Third quarter, the Nets jamming. Anderson to Petro. Alley oop to Morris, who had 25. The Suns lead 10 after three. But in the fourth, here's Charles. Gets position on Morris, gets the rebound, the putback. Suns lead by eight. The lead down to three late. Drazen Petrovic stripped by Nigel Knight. And the Suns hang on to win 105. To 100 as Charles closes it out. 34 points and 12 boards. It ends the Nets' longest win streak in nine years. It was six games coming in. The Nets missed Derek Coleman in this game. Second straight game he set out with a knee spring. Another New York natives, Kenny Anderson and Mark Jackson saying hello. First quarter, Jackson feeds Kenny Norman for the one-handed stick. And then Anderson passing it for Chris Morris who was in double figures. Jackson this time doing it himself, slicing to the hoop, part of a 8 nothing clipper run, then draws in Petrovic to Anderson for the nice move, and the Nets leading at the break. Derek Coleman still sitting it out. Third quarter, Danny Manning with a slam dunk. L.A. within four. Fourth quarter, Jackson the swipe. Anderson's pass takes it coast to coast over Petro, and L.A. ties it at 105, under 30 to play. Anderson to Chucky Brown, baseline, he had 18. And Anderson said, hey, let's go to the Stanley Russian Roberts tea room and celebrate as he has his first triple-double. And the Nets win it over the clips of the four. Tonight, as you can see, tempers were at a peak. Chris Morris and Charles Oakley early. Morris having none of it. The uh, swat of Patrick Ewing shot. Pat Riley says, watch the big guy step outside. And Ewing hits the big jumper from uh, way out. Patrick would respond and then let Rick Mahorn know about it. Derek Coleman wanted to get in the act. He does and gets the hoop. 
Back off the knee injury, Coleman had 11 points, and Drazen Petrovic kept the Nets in this game. Petro was pumped. He had 29, and it was a close game going to the fourth. But the Knicks went back to the physical ways with the Nets, some intimidation and some good defense. Greg Anthony, the steal, the save to John Starks for two of his 20. Chuck Daly felt it slipping away on the Meadowlands Parquet, but he couldn't do anything about it. Charles Smith, a lob to Starks, using the back door again, and Starks will finish this break started by Smith off good Knicks defense. New York goes on to win it. 108-94, and for now, the Big Apple still belongs to the Knicks. This game had 69 fouls, four technicals, and four scuffles. Knicks 2-0 against the Nets this year. Ewing had 27 for New York, which has won five of its last six. To Chicago, the champs led by Chris Morris. You want a big slam? Derek Coleman clears the path for Mo. Then Morris will pass Sam Bowie first, and behind the back, great dish in the air to D.C., Coleman for two, and the Nets lead by two, but the Bucks rally in the fourth. Todd Day to Lee Mayberry. It's an Arkansas connection, and the game is even at 97, thanks to the X-Hogs. After two Milwaukee free throws, 28 seconds left. Kenny Anderson, the drive, the quick first step. Nets tied at 99. Other end, Alvin Robertson to Frank Brickowski, and the Bucks lead 101-99. Now six seconds left. Sam Bowie, you don't want him creating a shot for himself. He missed it, but Petro gets the rebound. He's fouled. Score it with one. Game tied at 101 apiece. So Petro to the line with one second left. Gets the shooter's roll. And the Nets hang on to win 102-101. Todd Day had a last boards tonight. He's been in and out of that doghouse. He was certainly out of it tonight and in the King's face. Coleman had as many first half rebounds as the entire Kings team did. Coleman again, a career-high 24 boards, he had 20 points. A nail-biter, Kings up by one fourth quarter, Spud Webb strips Coleman, finds Mitch Richmond, Mitch had 18, the kiss off the glass. The unlikely hero for the Kings, or for the Nets, would be Chucky Brown. Nets go on to win it, 104-98, Chucky. 19 points, Derek Coleman keeping them in the game. They uh, hand the kick. To tangle with the New Jersey Nets in an old hoop clinic, first, the pass. First quarter, Derek Coleman gives the first lesson. DC hooking up with Sam Bowie. Ford, wow, impressed. Next, it was the soap turn. The X-Man finding Robert Parrish. Parrish with 20 points in this game, a season-high 16 boards. Then the Celtics on the run where they were successful. D. Brown finding X. Chuck Daly can't figure it out. The block brought the Nets back, though. Bowie, big-time block here on Rick Fox. That led to Robinson's lay in the other way. But this game actually boiled down to the old-fashioned J, the jumper. Fourth quarter, Celts up by two. Chris Morris, two of his 23 with under 25 seconds to go. Tied at 104. D. Brown for the game winner. It's good. Celts win in dramatic fashion. Brown said he had a feeling the ball was coming to him. By the way, Celtics point guard Sherman Douglas, over his personal problems, he played 17 minutes with six points, five assists. First goes the other way. He has no trouble hitting this. Mars at 26, nets up by one at the half. Hornets coach Alan Bristol says that's not supposed to happen that way, but this is Muggsy Bogue starring the break. Kendall Gill, the showtime finish. Hornets up by four. That was temporary, that lead. The Nets come back. They were up by one. Six seconds to go. Chris Morris can't get it to fall. The Hornets rebound. They have a chance to win. Two on one. Fast break. Muggsy to Gaddison. Time runs out. Nets hang on. Muggsy, why'd you try to pass? You could have taken it yourself. Besides Anderson's triple-double in that game, the Nets were sparked by Chris Dudley. Yeah. Chris Dudley, the backup center, finished with nine points, 12 rebounds, and three blocks. The rejuvenated... ...in Minnesota. Kenny Anderson behind the back to Derek Coleman. A little finger roll and 23 points for Derek. Nets up six. Petrovic to Sam Bowie, who sticks it. He had 11. The Nets up 10 now. And then Chris Morris had a good shooting night. High percentage shot there. Nine of 11 from the floor. 19 in the game. The Nets shoot 71% in the opening quarter and put it away. Here they share it a little bit. Coleman finishes and the that's big over Minnesota. The Timberwolves lose their eighth straight. Kenny Anderson, who struggled against the T-Wolves earlier this year, hitting one of 11, was the trigger man here in the second half, scoring 16, dishing out in Charlotte. Fourth quarter, Chris Morris ties it at 115. Nets take a 117-116 lead, 12 seconds left. Kenny Anderson, though, the backboard violation, turns it over, so the Hornets have a chance. Bogues pass batted, but look at Kendall Gill come up, and he knows right where to go. Shooting for the lead, 118-117, one last chance. With four seconds left, Derek Coleman can win it for the Knicks, and nothing but nothing.
He does not make it a tough loss for Chuck Daly. His team with a little more experience might win this kind of game. The Hornets score a team record 75. Order Drazen Petrovic over Shaquille O'Neal. And then Petro, who was 7 for 7 in the third with a three-pointer. He scored 17 in the period. Still in the third. He's going to dish it to Coleman. Underneath with the foul. Nets 13 for 17 in the quarter. Then Shaq going to the hole, showing some mobility. He's fouled and gets it to drop. Chuck Daly wishes he would go away. 197, Nets leading with about 10 to play. Magic winning the jump. Scott misses for the three. Tolbert scores the two, but that's not enough. Shaq scored 29, and that wasn't enough as the Nets win impressively. 102-90. Bouncing back. First quarter, Amon Gilliam takes it in over Derek Coleman. They're up 11. And then Tim Perry, one of the guys who came over in the uh, Barkley deal with a acrobatic layup that goes. Even Manute Bowl still looks, uh, that's a funny guy to watch shoot the ball, isn't he? 55-37, second half, Clarence Weatherspoon, the spin move on a one-handed stick, 93-70. to The Nets' best play was not even a basket. Chris Morris to Sam Bowie, who was fouled, didn't get it to go. This does go up. Weatherspoon on the alley-oop, Clarence had 23, Philly had 73 second halves. And happy to have Drossen Petrovic back in the lineup after missing a couple of games. Feeds him down low and then Anderson, the crossover move and the Nets up by one at halftime. But Mark Price, one of his ten assists to Larry Nance, who's having an all-star year. And then Price throws up the three-pointer, hit three out of four, scored 18. The Cavs leading by three. Third quarter, Anderson to Derek Coleman, who sticks it. 25 points, 11 boards for Coleman. And then Anderson in the fourth quarter with the Nets up six goes to Petro who hits baseline. It's an eight point lead. Anderson going to take it himself. This time over Mark Price. 23 points and 10 assists for Kenny Anderson. And the Nets get the best of this when they force 20 turnovers against a team that usually doesn't give it up that easily. Daily a little stressed. Nets working though the mismatch off the switch. Derek Coleman ending up guarding Rex Chapman. Chapman uh with the bucket, then the Nets come through with a steal. Chris Morris picking the pocket of the Bullets. Anderson ahead to Coleman for the J. Nets by 15 over the Bullets in the third. Bullets battle back. Smith misses, but Jones is there for the follow. Larry Stewart leads the fourth quarter charge. Stewart, the scoop shot and the foul. Bullets cut the Nets lead to six, but then Derek Coleman to Anderson back to DC. Derek Coleman just too much, 27 points, 11 boards. The Nets are hot with a 109-101 win over Washington. The to the Meadowlands for the highlights, and Derek Coleman turns the ball over. Got a little sloppy back there. Sam Mitchell gets the slam, and Chuck Daly didn't like it. Pacers up five at the break. Second half, here's Pooh Richardson. Pass Kenny, coast to coast, to the hole and to the camera. Pacers lead down to one, but then the Nets go on an 8-0 run. Kenny the steal and goes to the for two. Now the Nets, up 98-97, you see the clock. Look at the great pass. Sam Bowie to Chris Morris, and Mo sends it in. Game over, Nets up three, time to celebrate a win, but not yet, because Bob Hill was mapping out the strategy. Down three, look for Reggie Miller, look for Detlef Schrempf, both options taken away. It ends up George McLeod, a chance to win, he puts up a brick, and the Nets win. Believe it, the Nets are just a half game out of first in the Atlantic, 100-97, to DC at 25. Coleman uh, with his 25, Kenny on Derek Coleman and the Nets. First play of the game, the, Bull, the Bulls said, hey, we're going to hustle. Pippen missed it, but gets it right back and gets two of his 18 on the baseline. Bulls by eight after the first, and Drazen Petrovic was really cold in this game. Five of 17, but look at the long-range three there, which he drains. Bulls on the run. Pippen, beautiful no-look pass to Harris Grant. 15, Bulls by 14 at the break. In the fourth, Nets get close. Petro, the alley-oop to Derek Coleman. Two of his 22. Nets within six, but they can't get closer. Jordan on the alley-oop. Two of his 30. B.J. Armstrong killed the Nets. Seven of nine shooting, 18 points. Chuck Daly said we're not quite ready for prime time. The Nets lose at home by 13, playing the second half without Chris Morris, who injured his hip. Now eight straight for the Bulls over Jersey. One reason why, the depth. Game and a half. Let's polish up that basketball and get ready to go. Derek Coleman, D.C., steps up for the steal and then takes it in for the layup as the Nets go on a 6 nothing run, and that'll make everybody smile, including that guy. <laughs> and he doesn't smile much. Anyway, the Hawks come back. Neat down the lane. Can't get it to go. Stacey Ogman, though, with the follow slam. He's come on real well. Rick Mahorn not smiling. Now in there playing. Misses the easy one. Steve Hansen at the other end. Dominique Wilkins trailing. What's he going to do with it? Right. You got it. They're dancing in the aisles in Atlanta.
Dominique Wilkins then blows by Coleman right here, splits the two defenders for the big slam. Atlanta was up 84 to 79. They go on to win for the sparse gathering at the Omni by a final count of 102 to 91. Dominique with yet proverbial dream night. That's the dream sequence from way outside. He shakes Vern Maxwell, baseline pop. Vern said he shot the lights out. Thank you, Vern. Petrovich led the Rockets by nine at the half. In the second half, Mo Cheeks, great pass to Drazen over Robert Ori. There was just him out there. Now from way outside, bang. From way, way downtown, bang again. The Rockets then tried the invisible man on Drazen Petrovich, who got 32 of his North American career high, 44 in the second half. He shoots 17 of 23 and uh, 44 points, three for three from down. Coaching victory as the Nets and Lakers went at it. And the Nets, a good passing effort. Petrovic, the drive and dishes to Rafael Addison, who had 14. And then Kenny Anderson, the no look to Addison, who lays it in. Six assists for Anderson. Nets by five at halftime. The Lakers try and come back, but Derek Coleman with a steal. And Chucky Brown sticks it. And then Coleman, who had five assists, to a wide open Kenny Anderson who scored 28 and Chuck Daly the 15th NBA coach to get to 500 victories he's in a hurry for many more as the Nets take out the Lakers Anderson who's probably one of the players benefiting the Cowboys this little fan Dexter Cambridge loses the ball then Doug Smith's pass gets through Davis's hands 26 turnovers for the match Chucky Brown gonna go all the way with this one and stick it for the Nets Garfield heard wondering if he did the right thing taking over this team Kenny Anderson to Coleman who had 27. Then watch Tracy Moore rejected like Zoe Baird by Coleman. Kenny Anderson on the other end to Brown for the short jumper and hits in the Mavs. Shell shock. That's the way it's been for them as they lose again. Kenny Anderson 20 points and Sonnets. Chris Morris flying early for New Jersey. He should really be in the slam dunk contest at the NBA All-Star Game and that's why. Nets had a 19 point first half lead and this guy was stunned. But Sean Kemp helps to get the Sonics back in it. The two-fisted baseline slam. The Sonics continue to run in the second half. Derek McKee to Eddie Johnson. He gets the basket of the foul. Seattle within one. Petrovich lit it up. 35 in the game. This three had four three-pointers. And then Derek Coleman, who just was not there in the first half, comes on. Kenny Anderson gets it to him for the stick. The Nets lead by two. 30 seconds to play. McMillan steals the pass and forces overtime at 97 all in the OT. Coleman steals and sticks it. The Nets were 10 of 10 from the line. Coleman with 20 points and 22 rebounds. Tough going for George Carl. The Sonics losing. The Dragon was on fire. Drazen Petrovic had 27. Derek Coleman left all alone. Good. Drazen then inside the runner. The Nets up by 12 midway through the fourth. But the Bucks chip away. 20 seconds left. Todd Day cuts it to one. Mike Dunleavy's Bucks still have a chance. Petro made one of two, and Day throws away the inbounds pass, and the Nets hold on to win it 105 to 102. The and fight up. Homecoming for Daly and two Detroit natives. Terry Mills, the former Net. Derek Coleman from Detroit's Northern High, also in there. Former Net Bernard King taking his warm ups off. Bernard did get in this game. He did lay it up and did get the foul. He had eight points. Emil Robinson, who went to the University of Michigan, lays in and gets the foul. Second half, Derek Coleman, the block. Then the pass to Kenny Anderson. Right there for the lay-in. Anderson had a nice 28 points, thank you. As Bernard King looks on. Do you know that Derek Coleman had 21 points, 17 boards? Uh, Drazen Petrovic, 13. Kenny Anderson, 28. None of them make the all-star team. Front runners with a home win over the Heat. But Miami was short-handed on this visit. The center Ronnie Cycli missed his fourth consecutive game due to the flu. And speaking of flu, that's exactly what Harold Miner did. 2.7 seconds to go in the first half. Harold had 17 in the first half. Chuck down and down by 10. Third quarter, Drazen. The Nets go on a 7-0 run. Nets playing some solid defense as well. Glenn Rice, his pass blocked. And Kenny Anderson starts the break. And lo and behold, hits Bernard King. And Bernard, look out for the cheerleaders. Nets take a two-point lead. Bernard had 13. Derek Coleman sat out the fourth into overtime. Draws in. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Draws in with a jumper as soft as church music. <laughs> Petro with 34. Eight in the overtime. And then it's win at 117 to 111. The Got it. Blue Edwards with a nice pass, but Alvin Robertson doesn't make the slam dunk. Then Edwards on the break doesn't handle the pass. And then watch this. Frank Brakowski to no one. 18 turnovers for Milwaukee. Mike Dunleavy hates when that happens. Tate George, it's contagious. Misses the easy lay, and Chuck Daly had seen enough.
thrown out of the game. The Nets respond well, though. Drazen Petrovic to Derek Coleman, four assists for Petro. He does it again as those two hooked up and dominated offensively. Petro, the wraparound, Coleman 27 points, 16 rebounds. Petrovic had 28. Those two combined. All-Star Weekend. They're more entertaining. Entertaining defense by Del Curry. The steal and Tony Bennett gets it back to Dell. Hornets up 18 at the break for Allen Bristow against the Nets. Third quarter, it's the X-Net. Mike Jaminski to Kendall Gill back to the G-Man for the hoop. Charlotte wins 104-95. Larry Johnson 17 points, 14 boards. Petro and Kenny Anderson had just 20. And Chris Ford, his team, the last two games, losing by an average of 31 points. But Reggie Lewis trying to change all that. Here he gets assaulted by Derek Coleman, but scores two of his 33 in the game, 12 of 25 from the floor, and the X-Man, Xavier McDaniel, helping out with 20, and the Celtics blow away the Nets, who are struggling a little bit here, 103-88, New Jersey shooting just 35% on this, they are all stars, Chucky Brown, 10 in the first half of the Nets, Derek Coleman mistakenly thinking the game is over, calm down. The Nets were thoroughly tuning up the Knicks, so in the third quarter, John Starks tuned up Kenny Anderson. That's a flagrant foul for Starks and a sprained wrist for Anderson. And then this is a flagrant bad play. Starks to Oakley, a little flagrant bad sportsmanship. Nets open it up with a 15-2 run in the third as Drazen scores eight of them. Jumper, and from 18 feet. While the Knicks offense takes on the quality of, what is this circular thing and why are we wearing these shorts? The Nets have reason to celebrate. They are five and a half games behind the Knicks, and New York has now lost twice in three days by a combined margin. Two weeks with a fractured bone in his left hand, and yes, he was missed. Chris Morris with a big steal, leading the break, a four-on-one break. So how do you blow this? Well, B.J. Armstrong knows how you blow it. He knocks it away, gets to Michael Jordan, to Armstrong, to Pippen, to Jordan, who jams, pulls up by four. Late first, Nets hang tough. Derek Coleman, the drive, the dish to Mahorn. Ends up in Coleman's hands again, and he takes care of it. Nets up by two. Second half, though, it was all Bulls. B.J. to Michael. Bulls up by four. Now shot clock running down. Jordan nailing the three as it expires. He does that so well. Bulls up by ten. Then Jordan, tongue-wagging and all, puts the Bulls up by 12. Nets try to come back late, but Morris missing the easy bucket. Chuck Daly says, you got to make those plays. Morris responds. The backboard is shattered. Look at it again. It's worth another look. David Stern was in the audience to witness this. Wonder what he thought about it. Pippen and Michael walking away, wondering, why can't we smash? Nick Anderson lip sync the anthem. All right, as long as it's not Carl Lewis. Shaquille O'Neal with a slam dunk inside. Then Derek Coleman going to go over Shaq and lays it in, and he points to him as if to say, hey, you're still a rookie. Coleman had the night, the pump fake here, and again, Shaq just standing there as Derek lays it in a season high, 34 points, gets tough here, just kind of pushes Scott Skiles away to bury the jumper, and a big night for Ramil Robinson, swatting Dennis Scott, his pass, Petrovic takes it back to Robinson, who had a season high, 22, and the Nets blow away, Shaq and the Magic, 116-97, Coleman with the 15 board Shaq's. Mark Jackson making the nice save right to Ramil Robinson, though, who gets the hoop and the foul. Then Drazen with the a nice look to Chucky Brown. Yeah, Chucky Brown. Nets by eight at the half. Kenny Anderson looking on. His subs doing the job. Ramil getting the steal, finding Mo Cheeks to Chucky Brown for two more. Then it's Robinson again making it happen. The dish to Chucky Brown for the slam. Nets by as many as 16. Clips come back though. Ron Harper picking a Drazen's pocket, taking it all the way. Clips within six. Harper had 22. Chuck Daly calling for defense. He gets it. Loy Vaught projected by Chris Morris. Nets hold on. 109-90. 109-98. Derek Coleman, a good game for him. 20 points, 12 rebounds. The third straight win. Praying that Ramil Robinson will fill that spot at point guard. And on the break, he feeds Drazen Petrovic, who gives the Nets a five-point lead. It was a three-point lead when Victor Alexander thinks and then sinks a three-pointer. That deserves a wow. He had 19 times the game at 76, but undermanned were the Warriors. Sam Bowie the rebound, Derek Coleman the long pass to Chris Morris, who gives the Nets the advantage, and then Ramil with the harm and then the hoop. He scored 20. The Nets win it. Golden State once again shorthanded. Robinson with six assists. Derek Coleman made just five of 18 shots from the floor. Goal
becoming the starting point guard. Robinson has led the Nets to five wins in their last five games, and he was named NBA Player of the Week. Robinson and the Nets were in Portland Monday night. Not an easy place to win for Robinson and the Nets. Second quarter, he did get things going early. Porter blocked by Morris and Robinson. A great outlet to the other end where Drazen finds Chris Morris. Nets led the Blazers by one at the half and by one after three. Fourth quarter, though, different story. Blazers get it going. Porter to Mario Eli, the assist to Robinson for the slam. Blazers up by two and Cliffy wasn't done. Neither was New Jersey. Shot clock winding down. Morris as he doesn't go, but as the clock goes off, Portland stops for some reason. Morris continues, lays it in. Chuck Daly's men tie it at 83. But here's Cliff Robinson again, doing his stuff, hitting the J. Portland by three, and then the backbreaker for New Jersey. Ramil to Chucky Brown, rejected by Jerome Kersey. He had a great game, and then the save to Terry Porter. We go the other way, where Porter pushes it onto Kersey, to Robinson, who pulls up and hits the J. That was it, 110-94, the final for the Blazers. Cliff Robinson, a big part of that. We'll get to him in a moment. Nets just can't get it done in Portland. 13 losses in their last 14 games in the Rose City. Ramil Robinson finished with numbers way below his average, 15 points, 5 assists. But this game, Nets out to a quick start on the break. Mo Cheeks finds D.C. For two points, Nets up by 15. Second quarter, Jersey takes control of this one. Drazen Petrovic, two of his 28. Nets led by 19. Atlanta made the comeback, you know, the kind where it's too little too late. On the break, Mookie Blaylock uh, finding Dominique. Neek, an off game, just 24 points. Hawks within seven, but Atlanta would get no closer. Morris to Coleman. Coleman had 27. It's a second straight really good game. Then on the break, Morris for more. 22 for Morris. Nets win 114-93. They stop a couple of Atlanta streaks, holding Dominique to under 30. Chance, but Ramil finds Rick Mahorn, who gets it to go. Donald Hodge would like a second chance here. And through the magic of video, he got it and still missed it. Mavs 10 first half turnovers. And then Drazen, the great save. Chucky Brown. And Chucky says, eh, Chuck, I can do that. 30 first half points for Ed Bradley. Jim Jackson, the great pass, Donald Hodge, and it counts. The Mavs down 22 at halftime. And then Mike Isolino to Dexter Cambridge. They make the most of the opportunity. Willis Reed saying to Quinn, are you sure you want that job? He's getting it. Whether he wants it or not, that was Gar Hurd. I don't want any 60-minute viewers calling in. 106 to 84 the final. Draws in. Bowie gets himself into trouble, but oh, finds Chris Morris, and he puts it over Brad Lohas. The Nets with some great passing. Chris Morris, no look to Drazen Petrovic. Then Bowie goes behind the back. Mo Cheeks lays it up and in. Bowie again shoveling to Petro. He puts it up and in. And then Petrovic goes deep for Derek Coleman. He hammers it down. A 15 to 4 run ends the game for New Jersey. And it's a 14 point final mark. For the very least of the East, uh, the Nets uh, having uh, won five innings, including three this year. Bernard King makes his return to Washington with that basket. He pleases the crowd. Labadford Smith, the dish to Larry Stewart. Stewart at 22. The Bullets led by eight on the loose ball. Who wins the foot race between 6'8", Chris Morris, and 6'1", Doug Overton? Well, Morris at the top of the screen. Here's Overton. Going to beat him for the layup. No! Morris comes from behind with a block. Late in the fourth period, Romeo Robinson of New Jersey nails the jumper. The Nets are back within one. But on the other end, Harvey Grant, not exactly a swisheroo, rattles it home. Bullets up by three. Nets with a chance to tie. No, don't take that shot, Morris. Not that one. Chuck Daly not pleased at the shot selection down the stretch. The Bullets end the Nets' three-game winning streak. Uh, Tom Gugliotta did not play, missed his first game. Middle lands where Kendall Gill got a nice pass here from Muggsy Bogues. The sweet reverse. Gill had 20 points, 10 of 12 shooting. Alan Bristow likes it, but things heated up in the final quarter. Sam Bowie, Alonzo Mourning do some shoving. Uh-oh, here we go again, right? Yeah, uh, no, the Nets took off. Derek Coleman, look at this effort in the lane. Nets within two with a game tied at 116, closing minute. Sam Bowie hits the clutch jumper. Nets up by two. Last chance for Charlotte Muggsy Bogues. The shot and out of nowhere, Derek Coleman says, get that stuff out of here. The Nets win big. Well, it's a big win. They win by two, 118 to 116. Derek Coleman was great. 35 points, four blocks and 14 boards. Ramil Robinson for the Nets also had 28 points. March 4th, Derek Coleman told Shaq, I'm not impressed by you. The Nets won that game by 19. We turn the clock ahead to Saturday night, second quarter. Shaquille O'Neal against Coleman. Shaq frees himself from DC. The spin and throws down the lob. Magic up four.
Nets try to keep the game up tempo. Ramil Robinson to Coleman, and look out below. Nets down by a deuce at the break. But Orlando and Shaq control the second half. O'Neal corrals the Anthony Bowie alley-oop and dunks. And in the fourth quarter, Shaquille continues his assault, dunking over and through Sam Bowie. Get out of my way. O'Neal had 27. Chuck Daly not thrilled by the outcome. Don't worry, Chuck. They have a lot of men's stores in Orlando. The uh, uh, Magic wins it 98 to 84, setting a franchise record with a 30 second. The Nets going at it. Why did the Heat shoot 61 percent in the first half passing? Oi! The bullet passed to Brian Shaw from Steve Smith. Why did the Nets stay in this game? Derek Coleman. He had 32 and could not be stopped. Then the former Syracuse star jams over his former teammate Ronnie Cycli. The Nets within one. Why did Miami respond? Glenn Rice. The Chris Morris turnover leads to the jam at the other end for Rice. The Heat by five. Then Glenn seals the deal. Rice buries the tray at 27. And the Heat hold on for the 110 to 100 victory. To step up against the Sixers. That player, that guy, Chris Morris, he was all over the court. The windmill jam for Morris. Then off the miss, the putback. Then nice play here, Ramil, the great pass to Morris, 17 for him, Nets up by six in the third. Now, two minutes left in the third, Derek Coleman doing the bumping thing with Armin Gilliam, then Coleman takes the swing, but he doesn't connect. Those two got thrown out, and Coleman didn't leave before he uh, let referee Bob Delaney know how he felt. Then back to the game in the fourth, Nets put it away, Mo Cheeks with a pretty play there. Net fans ecstatic over this victory, 91-77. They win, but they may lose Derek Coleman, the NBA could... Thanks to Mo Cheeks doing what he does best, the steal and then the feed to Morris. Nets by eight over Kevin's club. Morris, he was magnificent in the second quarter. He hit seven of his eight shots. The Nets led by 16 at halftime. But then in the second half, he closed the gap. Steve Smith blowing past Doug Lee. 13 for Smith. And how about the Smith stand? Heat within 10, but they really didn't get much closer. Morris to Coleman. What a pass that was, huh? The Heat fall. No contest, 95-82. So the Heat now three back of that final play. They ran into the angry Cav team just back from a three-game road losing trip. Mark Price, Cavs were down by 13, but the ball movement was exceptional. Craig Elo around the back to Hot Rod. Cavs on a 13-2 run. Big Bad Brad with the payoff on the fast break. The Nets leading by four at halftime still, but then it's blowout time. It's Price once again. Watch the rifle pass to Doherty underneath. Cavs by three. The deal is then sealed. By Larry Nance, the lay-in, the foul, 105-99. Cleveland, key numbers, Doherty, 20 points and 13 boards. Price, 13 assists. Detlef, Schramp, the hanging authoritative jam. Hoo-ha, tied it to uh, one quarter. Reggie Miller picks his spot. Or way downtown, bang. Miller passed Chuck Person to become the Pacers' all-time leading scorer. Derek Coleman threw in the towel. He didn't hit once in the first half. Nets down by nine in the third. Coleman, though, with the tip in. His only basket of the game. One of 13 from the field. Five turnovers. Pacers thereby run away in the fourth. Detlef coast to coast. The Pacers win 98-85. Chuck Daly fell asleep during the game. No, not really. Reggie's 21. Puts him ahead of person as the... Uh... ...at New Jersey. Ramil Robbins, a nice dish. One of his 11 assists to Chris Morris. Joe Dumars, 33, gives the Pistons a five-point lead. Then the Nets trailing by two. 28 seconds left. Robinson with a steal. They get it back to him. Two of his 19. But then Robinson on Isaiah... Committing a foul that turned out to be costly and deadly. Isaiah, two free throws, so Chris Morris needs this for the tie, for the win, for anything. He gets nothing and has to like it. The Pistons hang on to beat the Nets. Dumars, his fourth straight 30-plus game. Rodman, 17 rebounds. And Back in the lineup, off the screen here from Rick Mahorn. Draws will spot up. He had just six points in his return. The Pacers dominate this game. Good mark for Reggie Miller. 700th career three-pointer. He had 20, and you want more Reggie? More Miller time. The tough fadeaway. Pacers led by 32 in this game. Dale Davis, the rebound and the putback. It rebounds the story. The Nets, the best rebounding team in the league. Out he responds, though. At this point, down one. Coleman given the lane, and he puts New Jersey up one. 33 points, 15 boards, and 10 assists for Coleman. But Lewis, with 38 seconds left, gets that to go. He scored 29. Celtics leading by one, and the Nets have a chance to take the lead. Coleman misses, but goes back after his own rebound, puts it in, and the Nets are up one. 5.5 seconds left. The Celtics are going to go to Douglas, and he's going to take it to Ramil Robinson and take the pressure shot, and 
gets it to go for the win. A wild finish, 106-105. The Nets losing their seven straight. They missed seven of ten free throws in the final five and a half minutes. The Chapman was doing his Michael Jordan imitation. Nice move. 25 points for Rex. Chuck Daly couldn't believe as his team was down by 21 in the fourth. Then it got interesting, a little pushing and shoving between Grant and Petrovich. Grant was ejected. Petrovich stayed in and fed Mahorn. Nets suddenly down by just three. Here they come. Petro to Mahorn. Nets down with just one seconds left. Mahorn had 14. Nets with the ball now down one. Six seconds to go. Derek Coleman with a drive and hits the game winner. Wes Unsell can't believe his team blew another big lead. Nets hang on. A big win for them. 20 points for D.C. The Nets clinch a playoff berth, but they still remain two and a half behind Boston. He was just worried about hitting the target, and he sure did. How about 22 first-half points, Knicks by 12 at the half. Hey, look who was at the game. Dan Reeves getting a taste of New York sports. Second half, all Knicks. The miss by Rivers, and then Oakley would recover, send the feed back to Rivers, who banks it off the glass. Knicks by 16, and then Starks again. Look at this shot. The Jordan-esque move. 31, a game high for John Starks. All over. 105-74, it was all Knicks. How about Starks, the former CBA player? The best passing team in the NBA, and they work it around. Mark Price, Brad Doherty to John Williams. Cleveland leading by 12 after one. Cleveland on the run again. Terrell Brandon, the high handoff to Gerald Wilkins. Actually tipped by Tate George, but Wilkins still puts it down. Tate George, the no-look pass to Raphael Addison. The Nets down 68-47 at the half. More they miss Kenny Anderson. Nets get no closer than 17 in the second half. Brad Doherty finishes, and Chuck Daly can use one of those extra strength Tylenols. Nine Cavaliers and double figures. Cleveland Reserve scoring 49. Brad Kevin McHale. What a way to against Cleveland and Derek Coleman, who had a great game, too, trying to get his mates motivated. First quarter, draws and Petrovic shot won't go, but Coleman is there. 14 first-half points for D.C. Lenny Wilkins' club down by five at the half. Second quarter, New Jersey's only healthy center, healthy no more. Sam Bowie goes down with a sprained left foot. He left the game. In the third, Cavs take advantage of four-stringer Dwayne Shinsis. Larry Nance with 11 third-quarter points. Nance finished with 23. Chuck Daly has seen this before. Craig Elo, two of his 22. That put the Cavs up for good, 67-65. And then Nance with a great defense. The steal, and then he ends up with it in the end. 23 for Larry Nance. The Cavs win it 93-84. Elo chipping in with 22, although Mark Price scored just seven. Cleveland. In Richfield, game five. Cavs down by two in the first. Gerald Wilkins behind the back pass winds up with Brad Darty. It's not bad himself. Chuck Daly tells the defense to tighten up, and it does. Next time through, Terrell Brandon drives. Everybody hit the deck as they crash to the floor. Then the Nets go on the offense. Drazen finds Coleman underneath. And look at this move. Ooh, ah, Nets within two. Cavs on a 13-6 run. Hot rod to Larry Nance, who fakes the reverse jam and then hits the hook. Cavs up by nine. Fans start thinking, yeah, great, the Bulls are coming back. Early in the third, the Nets come back. A Romeo Robinson sighting. And Darty's inbound pass stolen by Coleman to Robinson. Back to Coleman from way downtown. Bang. Nets pull within three. Then the Cavs pull away. Mark Price, scoreless in the first half, comes back big in the second. His own three on the way to 16. And then Williams to Mike Sanders to Darty for the jam. Chuck Daly suitably worried, looking for a moral victory, if even that. Darty finishes it off with a little cream-like hook. 24 points, 20 rebounds for Big Bad Brad. The Cavs win 99-89. Can a player advance to the next round, even if his team is eliminated? Derek Coleman, 33 points, 16 rebounds, 2-3.